Okay guys, so today's video is going to be a full collection video of all the handbags that I own. It's going to be my more higher end designer bags and also my entry level designer bags. So if you're looking for something on the higher end and if you're looking for something that may be a little more price friendly, then stay tuned and let's get into this video. Alright guys, so first we're going to be starting off with my Marc Jacobs Quilted Snapshot Bag. This is the medium size snapshot, so it's not the original small one um, that you typically see and they come in a variety of colors. Like I said, this is quilted with the brassy gold hardware. It has two zip compartments on the front and they zip in the opposite direction. I really, really love this bag. I feel like this is like a staple piece. This is something that you can have around for a very long time in your collection. The color is beautiful. It's a beautiful off-white color. And here it has the Marc Jacobs logo on the top of the bag. Then on the back of the bag, it has a pocket here where you can put a card, which is a very cool feature. The two zip compartments are very spacious. You can literally put a good amount of stuff into this bag. And in the inside, it also comes with another pocket there that you can place your cards if you're not going to be carrying a card holder and I thought that was very convenient. On the hardware here, it also says Marc Jacobs. Let's open up the other side of this compartment so you guys can see. I do have some stuff in here so don't mind. I have like my everyday things that I would typically carry. Um, yeah. I really love this bag. <clears throat> As you can see here, it's so beautiful. It comes with this very gorgeous, thick, awesome quality strap that is adjustable. And I really love that you can change the length of the strap if you would like and make it shorter or longer. It also comes with some little, um, I'm just going to call them clips. Um, typically you'll see um, bags right now that are having like little coin pouches that you can attach here so it has that very trendy factor to this bag this bag I purchased from the Marc Jacobs website um, the retail price for this bag is $4.95 um, I definitely think that it is worth it this bag is is absolutely stunning and this is it's timeless I really love it all right guys so the next bag that I'm going to be showing you from my handbag collection is my Jacquemus Le Chiquito Moyen bag this is the medium size bag so it's not as small as the Chiquito um, this bag is like gorgeous it is It is like no other bag that I have seen when it comes to the style and the structure of the bag. I really love Jacques Mousse for this particular reason. I just think his stuff is just very unique. So like I said, this is the Moyen bag. I have it in the beige embossed leather. It has a brassy gold hardware on it that has the Jacques Mousse label. On the side of the bag, it has the strap attached that also says Jackie Moose there. Here is the back of the bag. It's very nice. It's like a very beautiful brown mocha color. Here is the other side. I have a little cute little keychain attached to the bag. And here we have the front. 
So this is what this bag looks like um, on the inside. I have some junk in pretty much all of my bags that I use. So um, this bag is a decent size. Only thing is, if you have an iPhone Plus, that is just not going to fit in here. Now I've seen some people that stretch the bag out. Like the flaps here on the side, I've seen people turn it outward to make the bag, I'm sorry, to make the phone fit inside of the bag. But I just don't do that because it's too hard to use it at that point. Um, I purchased this bag from the Jackie Moose website and I want to say this bag retails for almost $700. Um, I think it's a very great bag, very great investment piece. It's very beautiful. This is going to be in my collection for a very long time. The bag does come with a strap so that you can wear it as a crossbody. And as you can see here, it does have uh, five adjustable straps so that you can change the length of the strap if you want it to be shorter or longer on your body. Like I said, this bag is beautiful and I love it so much. This is one of my favorite bags, so yes, moving on. All right, guys, so the next bag that I have here is my Jackie Mousse Le Chiquito. This is the smaller size, obviously. Um, it is in a black leather. And this bag is very beautiful. It's something it's like a eye it's like a showstopper like whenever you wear this bag people are looking at it people love it um you don't typically see this in your large retailer stores and i think that kind of makes it cool so it's not as accessible as some of the other designer bags so like i said this does come in the black leather it has the brassy gold hardware we have one gold clasp here and the other gold clasp on this side and this allows for you to attach the strap onto the bag and of course you can carry the bag as a top handle and for size to see the inside of the bag like i said it's very small you can definitely fit your cards in here some cash some lip gloss just some very small things that you'll need this does also come with a body strap that is black with the gold hardware on it and it has five adjustable straps on it as well i do not know what the strap is at the moment so that's why i'm not showing it to you guys but um this bag is beautiful this was also purchased from the jackie moose website and this retails for 500 dollars Okay, on to the next. Okay guys, so for my next bag, I have this beige off-white um, Gucci Marimont bag. This is the small size. Very beautiful. It has that brassy gold hardware on here. Which I love. It has the chevron print on the side. It also has half chain detail and the other part of the strap is leather so i really love that it gives it like an edgy look to it and here on the other side you still have that chain detail with a tassel zip and you can just pull that zip like that and you open the bag up this is a good bag this bag has been used a lot this is one of my most used bags believe it or not this was my first designer bag and i purchased this from neiman marcus and this bag was uh, i can't remember the exact price but it was around a thousand dollars for this purse this was my first luxury bag so this has a special place in my heart i love it so much it's so versatile um, it has this beautiful long leather strap on it. This is a great everyday bag. Even with the color, I've had this bag for maybe three or four years now. And it has 
little to no wear on it and it's off white so that's amazing i've worn this bag a lot i kid you not so i love this bag <laughs> That we have here is this cute little adorable little bag this is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette and um, I really love this I think it's just too cute um, I've had this bag for a couple of months now I want to say I got it around my birthday and I purchased this I purchased this bag from the Louis Vuitton website it actually I'm sorry I purchased this through a um an essay over the phone and um this bag was pretty hard to get it took me maybe a month to be able to snag this little mini pochette so we have the LV canvas on here the monogram print it comes with that cowhide leather here with a gold hardware for the zipper and you can zip it up zip it down it does come with this cute little chain and it's just a gold chain here nothing spectacular um, this says this bag was made in France um, I did see another YouTuber take the chain like this. They took it off and put it like this to make it a wristlet. And I had never thought to try that, so I will be trying to wear it like that in the future. Um, so, hey, shout out to Luxury Taste. Hey, girl. Um, and the inside of this bag is just black. Not black. I'm sorry. It is just brown lining in the inside it has the date code over here um yeah this bag is just very cute i use it as a bag organizer or as a wallet or i may just carry it as my purse for today um i just really think this is super cute and i feel like you have to have louis vuitton monogram in your collection because it's just a classic this bag at the time i want to say i paid almost 400 dollars for this bag um with the taxes and everything love it love the pochette okay guys so the next bag is also another mark jacobs bag this is the original snapshot and i got it in a multi-colored print um it's white beige and this beautiful green color so as you can see it has that gold hardware for the Marc Jacobs sign on the tassel zipper it also says Marc Jacobs there on the hardware and just like the previous one that I showed you it has a double zip so you can open the bag in two different places And it also has this card holder here on the back where you can put a card in there. For the strap, it doesn't say the Marc Jacobs on it. It's just the plain strap that is black, white, and gold. I really love these bags. And the straps are always removable on the snapshots, which is very nice. So if you had a different strap that you would like to add on here, it would be very simple to just switch it out. Um, I love this bag. I bought this for myself as a Christmas gift. And I got this one from Nordstrom. And I want to say it retails for $300. $330 probably with taxes and everything. This is a super awesome bag to have. But I will say that the space inside of this bag is not that great. Even though you can fit some of the basics in here. Your phone, your lip gloss. But this is still a very small bag but it can work for your everyday life and i love it because the price point is amazing and it's like such great quality so i really love this design from mark jacobs 
Okay guys, so here we are moving on to the next bag. This is a Kurt Gager. I believe that's how you say it. Kurt Gager. And um, this is a very beautiful blue purse with that chevron print. And then it has some... Um, rectangles here at the top of the bag and it has this beautiful bronze eagle here at the top with like these black eyeballs and these bronze stones inside of them. Here we have the side of the bag, the back of the bag and it says Kurt Gerger, London. It has one strap so you can either wear it, the strap pulled up one way or you're able to pull the strap up and wear the bag like this, which is my favorite way to wear this. I haven't worn it as a crossbody, but this bag is so beautiful. The color is beautiful. And with this color, you can wear it all year round. It does not have to be a summer or a spring bag. A summer or a spring bag this literally works year round it's just the most beautiful blue color here at the top where the straps are it says Kurt Gerger or however you say that London and it's very beautiful this is a real leather bag um, I want to say I paid about three hundred and forty dollars for this bag from Nordstrom's and here in the inside, it lets you know that it is real leather. This leather is very soft to touch, very delicate. I did end up doing like a protectant spray on it because, you know, I'm scared to mess this bag up um, just because how soft it is. But there's a lot of space in the inside. It has two different compartments. It has a card holder pocket. So originally it says $245 and with the tax and everything I believe it came up to like $300 something dollars for this bag. But this bag is gorgeous. I won't get rid of this because I don't I feel like there's not a bag that I have that's like this. And it also gives me some Chanel vibes. So I do not own a Chanel bag and I feel like, you know, this is something very similar to the style of Chanel bags and I can appreciate it. Okay guys, so the next bag here is also another Marc Jacobs bag. It is the Snapshot in the larger size. It is quilted, it is real leather. It comes with this beautiful brassy gold hardware and these beautiful chained straps with black leather for the shoulder portion. Okay, so this bag here is a size up from the off-white Marc Jacobs bag that I showed you guys. And on the J's here, it has that chain detail, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, it just gives it a little bit more. Here you have a front pocket where you can put things that you need quick access to, like a phone or your cards or lip gloss, whatever. Um, I purchased this bag from the Marc Jacobs store. I'm sorry, not the Marc Jacobs store, the Marc Jacobs website. And this bag retails for $695. And it also comes with the double zipper here that zip in the opposite direction. It has a pocket, a zip pocket here on the inside and a card holder. Very spacious, like you can fit a lot of stuff in here. This is a very good size bag. As you can see, there's another large pocket right here. Guys, this bag is very big. It's very durable and it can fit so much stuff in here like this is also 
one of my favorite bags for everyday use. I get a lot of use out of this bag just because I'm able to fit so much in it. So here we have the chain straps that are so beautiful and it has the black leather handles here at the top. It has the little Marc Jacob detailing right here. It says the Marc Jacobs and then a little tassel chain keychain thing. It says the Marc Jacobs. This bag is amazing. Very cute, very affordable. If you're looking for something that is, you know, at a good price range. And it does have this pocket here on the back, which I really love. This is a fave of mine. I have this Jacquemus. I don't even remember what this is called. I'm going to have to put it somewhere on the screen for you guys. But this is a beautiful basket bag made by Jacquemus. And it has this beautiful pink oopsies it has this beautiful pink pocket on the front you can stick your phone in here this is great for like picnics a day at the beach vacation spring summer this little bag is so adorable and i love it i haven't gotten much use out of the bag yet but i will this upcoming spring and summer all right, so this bag comes with the two top handle straps right here, and then it has two long straps so that you can wear it on the side of your body like this. And I really love this. It fits a lot. Like I said, this is like my, I'm going to the beach bag or I'm having a picnic situation. For this bag, it does have that brassy gold hardware as well with some gold studs here on the front. And this is what the side looks like. The back. And none of the bags are shaped equally. They kind of have like this funny shape to them. And the bottom of the bag, that's what it looks like. I did purchase this bag from Essence which I think is um, a UK retailer. And I paid $400 for this bag. And it was on sale, so I feel like that was a good investment for this because I was looking for a basket bag. And now I have one. I wish they would have had it in a neutral color so that I can get more use out of it, but I feel like this pink is fun. It's a nice pop of color and I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it. So I love this. Like I said, I love Jacquemus. All right. So for the next bag, it came as a set, but you can purchase these bags individually. So what I'll do is I'll start with one and then we'll move on to the next. So here we have this MCM reversible tote bag and this beautiful beige color it has this very light gold hardware it has um i don't know if this is like a date code or a serial number here on the front of the bag but it's very beautiful it says mcm on the um buttons right there on the side of the bag it does come with these extendable straps that you are able to attach your keys to or wallet and tuck it inside of the bag. That way you have easy access to it. Here is the back of the bag. It has those gold studs here as well. And then it also has another one of these straps that is on the inside of the bag. Inside of here I do have a, um, a bag organizer that I purchased from Amazon to keep the bag in shape. And I feel like this was a good investment. It was probably about $25 for that. So in the inside of the bag, it is reversible. So you can wear it on this beautiful brown inside. It's like this beautiful print. I don't know how to explain it. And on the inside, it has this very deep purple MCM logo 
So when you wear it on the reverse side, this bag, it looks amazing. And I love this for when I need to be able to carry more things and it definitely gets the job done. It's very sturdy, it's not cheap. The handles can hold a lot. I have stuffed this bag with a lot of things like laptop, iPad, phone, makeup, just all kinds of things. And this bag has, is doing very well as far as wear and tear. This puff is something that I attached separately. It doesn't come with the bag. Um, but yeah, this very beautiful. And I purchased it as a set from Nordstrom. It also came with this smaller MCM pouch that you can insert on the inside of the bag or you can wear it individually. It has this beautiful beige MCM print just like the other one. It has a leather zip with the gold hardware and you can zip the bag up like that. It has this strap here on this side that allows for you to detach the strap and you can also make this one into a wristlet. can't get that strap back on on the inside it also has this beautiful brown print it does not have the purple MCM logo on the inside of it this bag is like a fave of mine it's a very good size it holds a lot it's been very durable over the years it's doing really well with like wear and tear and I can definitely appreciate that. You know, I want to have my things for a long time if I invest money in them. And here it has a MCM tag. And um, this may be like a serial number here on the inside. So yes, that's what that looks like. And that came paired with the large tote. And... Uh, I'm going to do like a ballpark number for the price of this bag. Um, the two bags combined, I want to say, was $700. Somewhere between $700 and $750 at Nordstrom. So I think that was a good deal for two bags. Okay, so this is the last bag that we have here. This is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I feel so winded right now and I feel so sleepy. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So this is the Alma BB and it is in the monogram print with the cowhide leather on the bottom, the straps, and all the other little detailing. This bag does have that gold hardware and this is a more light gold versus brassy. And it says Louis Vuitton right here. You have the key holder. Oh, I wanna make sure you guys can see that. You have that key holder. It also says Louis Vuitton, Paris, and I have my initials hot stamped here. I had that done at the Louis Vuitton store in Dallas, Texas. And this is what this looks like. I've worn this bag not a lot, but you know, I've worn this bag a decent amount of time. I've also sprayed protector on it just because I know that this leather, this cowhide leather starts to wear a lot easier. Um, it does have a little bit of stains on them. At the bottom of the bag, it does come with four protector studs so that when you sit your bag down, it's not directly on the ground yeah i think i'm gonna need to clean this bag because it's got some wear and tear already okay so it does also come with the key lock and it has the lv symbol right there and then on the opposite side it says louis Vuitton, paris Here is an attachment where you can put the long strap that it comes with. 
So you can wear this bag as crossbody. And then on the inside, I have my strap in there. So you can wear this bag over the shoulder or you can wear it as a crossbody. And I really do enjoy wearing this as a crossbody. I know many people say that they don't enjoy wearing the bag like that, but I mean, it works well with me. I feel like the strap hits me at a very good place. I'm only 5'2", and I feel like that works well for me. So um, this little duster bag, it's what the lock and key came inside of. So you can put it back in here if you ever wanted to keep it nice and clean. And then on this side here, we have a pocket where you can put a card or something small in there. This bag is lovely. I feel like it's classic. Um, I am happy that I went with this. Like I said, this is a very classic bag. I feel like to have that Louis Vuitton monogram print is very timeless. I know some people feel like, oh, you know, it might be played out. But I disagree. I feel like it gives me um, 90s vibe when I'm pulling this out. It just, it's very nostalgic for me. Just seeing a lot of celebrities when I was younger having a bag like this. Or they may have had it in the um, multicolor print. And I just think it's so adorable. This is my most expensive bag. I want to say I paid between $1,500 and $1,600 for this bag. And that includes like taxes and shipping and all of that good stuff. But it is definitely one of my favorite bags to have. And I'm excited that it is in my collection. And yes, 